Hello, in this video, let us see how to get started with PySpark on PyCharm. So before getting into this, uh, previously uh, I have installed uh, Spark 3.4.1 on Windows 11. So please refer to my previous video just in case if you need uh, the steps on how to install Spark 3.4.1 on Windows 11. So after doing this, uh, I have tried to install PySpark uh, just by running the pip install PySpark from the command prompt. So when I try to do that, I face some issue. So I so to uh, to overcome that uh, or to resolve that issue, uh, you can refer this video just in case if you also encounter the same issue. If not, uh, you are then done with all the previous steps that are required. And then once these are uh, done, I mean installing Spark 3.4.1 and then uh, if your pip command is working fine from the command prompt, then you are all set to get started with uh, PySpark on PyCharm. So the first step will be from the command prompt, open the command prompt and then just execute this command pip install PySpark. So as you can see here in this image, I try to run this command uh, so it has installed PySpark. So then the next step will be uh, from the window search bar uh, just type uh, manage app execution aliases and then just turn off all this python.exe and python3.exe I mean this is nothing to do with uh, getting I mean using PySpark on PyCharm but the issue I faced was whenever I launch PySpark uh, like if you see in this um, so uh, I had set up a uh, PySpark uh, or spark install spark 3.4.1 on C drive by creating this folder so whenever I launch the PySpark command or the application from this it takes me to the Windows uh, apps uh, it just pops up the Windows apps uh, window so to avoid that we need to uh, just type uh, manage app execution aliases and then turn off python so this step is for uh, to avoid that and then the next third step will be download and install pycharm community edition community edition is a free edition so i will quickly show you like this is the link from here you can so the this is the community edition the other one would be you will get uh, a free 30 day trial uh, professional if you need professional or so i have went with community edition which is free I just click on this download uh, it will get downloaded once the once it is done just follow the standard installation steps so once it is done then the next step will be launch pycharm so after you download and install just launch pycharm uh, and then what I have done is uh, I have cr tried to create a project uh, and then within that project I have tried to create a python file okay I will quickly show you so you can just create a new project and then once you create the project uh, you can just uh, create a new python file so I have done this so once that is done then as you can see here just click on the settings go to the settings and then under python structure what you need to do sorry the project structure what you need to do is you need to click on add root content and you need to add the path uh, like from spark like i said in my case i have uh, set up spark in c drive so c spark and then there is a, there will be a python folder just point to that folder here so as you can see here I have added this folder by clicking on add content root so that will be my uh, fourth step creating a project and creating a python file within it and then uh, doing this setup uh, in the settings so once this is done the next step will be uh, again go to the windows search bar uh, type environment and then uh, you need to edit the envir edit the system environment variable uh, just click on this and then you need to add a environment variable called PySpark 
python and then value will be python so you can just do that by clicking on this new and then add this variable click on ok so once all these are done uh, then uh, from the spark documentation quick start i have tried to uh, start this uh, i mean uh, create a spark session and then follow this first exercise just to see, make sure everything is working fine from pycharm so as you can see here i'm just going to launch uh, execute this so change the context to current file and then just click on execute so as you can see here it has thrown some warnings um so basically in this what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a spark session and then importing the date time and date uh, functions and then just creating a uh, data frame so as you can see here it has printed it has displayed this so that's all so this is how we will get we can get started with uh, PySpark on PyCharm if you like this video please subscribe this channel and share it with others thank you for watching this video